Hey mob, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title of today's video, we are back with another hair tutorial. Today's video is sponsored by Mega Look Hair and it is this really cute blunt cut bob. I actually really did love this wig. It was so fun, it's so unique. So if you guys wanna see exactly how I achieved this look, then just continue to watch. So per usual, I'm giving you guys a very quick unboxing. I wanted to show you everything that comes with this wig because Make Look Hair is not going to leave you empty handed, okay? <laughs> so as far as the hair, this is the new Blunt Cut Bob Peekaboo Green Color Transparent Lace Front Wig. It is a 4x4 closure though, but just so you guys know, this one does come in a 13x4 if you choose to, you know, have a full lace rather than a closure, but y'all know how I feel about my closures, okay? So Make Look Hair came through with the elastic band already sewn on this wig and I was like, yes. Of course, I bleached the knots, washed the hair. I went ahead and installed it. I did not have to use any spray, any glue for this install, you guys. Like, they pretty much hooked me up. And you're gonna get hooked up as well if you decide to get the same 4x4 closure wig. Now, even though the wig did come with the elastic band, it also came with the combs and the adjustable straps in the back of the wig. So I did use that just to make the wig a little bit more secure. But let's talk about the hair really quick while you guys watch me basically about to pluck the closure. So, as I already told you guys, obviously this is a blunt kebab, you see that, obviously you see the peekaboo green, which I feel like is beautiful to be honest with you, that's why I love the wig, it's so different. But another reason why I actually really do love this wig is because even though it's a bob, the density of it is 180%. So it's like not too little and also not too much. <laughs> also the inches is 12 inches, so it just fit perfectly for a bob. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much hair I had to pluck out in just a second, but it wasn't too bad, like it wasn't terrible. I wasn't sitting there for like an hour, you know? As you guys can see, I was getting somewhere at this point and I just did the rest off camera. So right now I'm just blowing out the hair because it was still a little damp from when I had washed it after I bleached the knots. Once I finished blowing it out, I believe I went in with my hot comb just to lay the wig even more flat. And again, I'll show you guys exactly how much hair I had to pluck out of the frontal. So as you guys can see, um, the wig is cooperating very, very well. One thing that I've noticed with Mega Look Hair, like their hair quality is always top tier. I've never had an issue with their hair quality, me personally, okay? So I just wanna let you guys know that because even though you see that bright lime green in this wig, you would suspect that maybe there'll be like excess shedding or tangling or something like that, especially if it's not colored correctly. No, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. All right, so here's how much hair I had to pluck out of the closure. So it wasn't terrible, like I said earlier. So right now I'm just going in with my wax stick and I'm gonna take my hot comb just to lay this baby down. This is actually one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> so after I go in with my hot comb, I am going to flat iron the hair. Do not judge me, y'all. I have like the big flat iron and I know for a bob, it's so much better to have like, what is it, like the regular one inch or something like that. I think the one I have is like two inches. Yeah, I bugged out. But anyways, 
um, I made it work though that's all that matters so after I went in with my flat iron for a little bit I did decide I wanted to do a middle part so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the styling portion and then I'll come back towards the end So I'm sure you guys notice I'm flat ironing pretty fast. It's not even the fact that I sped the video up. It's just, yeah, I was flat ironing fast in real life because I have zero patience. <laughs> but the hair cooperated very well, so I was thankful for that. So right now, I'm actually just laying the hair down um, even more flat, if that makes any sense. So I told you I was doing the middle part. And basically what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of parting section by section and using the wax stick and the hot comb just to make sure the top of my head is laying as flat as I can get it. Cause you know sometimes after you wash your wigs and stuff like that it kind of gets like a little bumpy towards the top so that's pretty much what I was smoothing out with the hot comb All right, so I did the other side off camera. Look how cute this wig looks, you guys. I never thought I would be a bob girl. I think I had a bob maybe twice in my life before. And each time I love it and I wasn't too sure how it would look with that lime green, but I liked the green specifically. So that's why I wanted this one and it ended up working out. So I was so happy. But yeah, we get in the top as flat as we can, okay? I take that very seriously. So I went back in with my hot comb and now it is time to cut off the additional lace. Normally what I like to do is I will just cut in the middle and then I go in with my razor and I try to get rid of the additional lace. Be careful to not cut off too much and not to cut off too little, okay? <laughs> So if you guys could tell in the video, basically the key is to just get as close to the hairline as possible. All right, you don't wanna have too much lace, you don't wanna have too little because then you're gonna cut off too much hair and you did not do all that plucking for no reason just for you to go back and do more plucking. You don't wanna do that. So after I finish cutting off the additional lace, I go in with my scissors just to get any little pieces that I miss, especially those corners when it comes to closures, you, you gotta get rid of those. Then I went in and I did fix a little bit more plucking and then I went in with my makeup and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it actually. All 
alrighty you guys so I'm pretty much done and um, I hope this video just showed you guys how easy it was to install this wig like you guys saw the fact that Mega Look Hair pretty much hooked you up with the closure like it's completely glueless so if you get the same one you do not have to do any additional work so I love that so that'll be all for today as usual I will have all the information listed in the description box down below thank you so much to Mega Look Hair for sponsoring this video I love you guys and I will see you next time bye